Hey! That's that dude, Matt, I oh. told you about. He's got no kids. Oh, he comes yeah. to the park as a reminder oh. to himself to never have kids. And he kind of rubbed it in my face a little bit. He's kind of a oh, dick. I don't like him. I don't like... Look at him. He looks like he's... I don't know, happy. Is that the right word? He looks content. I mean, to be fair, it was kind of cool to listen to him. Talking about that? Yeah. This is kind of soft. I mean, uh, I haven't felt it, but it looks soft. The wife and I just flew back from uh, from Seattle. We're just kind of up there because neither one of us have really been to the city before. Did you know there's an underground tour? You can just no. you can just go on it. You just went. And here's the thing about travel: most people think that it's difficult. All you really need to do is come up with an idea, go to the airport, sit for five to seven hours, and you are at the place that you want to go, just like that. So you just go to the airport. Yeah. So we just went to just... Seattle and we bar hopped all weekend. Just meeting the locals, hanging out. We actually went to a bar that was full of a big band. You know, like a Glenn Miller orchestra-sized big band? Like 30 guys. And they were just playing for the two of us. It was like they were playing at an open mic. It was unbelievable. And if I was tied down with responsibilities and had to say no to any impulse that crosses my mind, my life would just not be the same. And there was about, you just drank alcohol? We drank just alcohol, there. we did shots. Yeah, it was one of those nights I felt like I was in college again. Sit. Go, and sit I never up. even went to college. That's how good it was. I know you just told me about the bar thing, but can you just say, say it one more time?